My name is John Peralta and I am the Environmental Health and Safety Specialist here at the Marathon County Solid Waste Department. And today we're going to be talking about prepping your batteries for disposal. So first off, very tradition, very uh, regular battery that we get in is our power tool batteries. So with these batteries, I have two different uh, types here. These are the nickel cadmium rechargeable batteries and here I have a lithium ion battery. What's important is that the contacts are covered with some form of tape. So here for the lithium ion, the main contacts are right here. It kind of looks like, a, like the teeth. You can see the teeth here. Those are the main contacts that I'm going to be looking to cover for this battery. Then we have the nickel cadmium. The contacts are up here. And then this other nickel cadmium, the contacts are way back here. So what I usually do, whenever I have it, you can use any type of tape. You can use electrical tape. You can also use regular scotch tape. The most important thing is that there's something that's covering that contact. Um, I also have a couple different types of tape here. But the easiest I found is definitely using the, uh, the regular, the regular uh, scotch tape. So like for instance, what we'll do here is I'll tape one end that way. And that should be good enough. I personally will put a second one on there as best practice just to cover it in case that first one come, comes off. So just like that, that one's prepared. We'll use a different type of tape for this second one. Well, looks like I got some, we'll use the electrical tape while we're at it. So for this one, this is the one with the contacts that are deep inside there. What I'll do is I'll go and tape that around then I'll usually go a second time just to completely cover that second contact. And so there you have that second one. And then finally for the lithium ion power tool, the same thing. This one I'll usually go the long way. So I'll tape that there and get that over like that end. And just like that, all the contacts are covered. So that's the correct way to do that. Next, we have this uh, battery pack. This happens to be a lithium ion battery pack, but a lot of times nickel cadmium batteries uh, also will be like this for electronics and they'll have a cord that comes off. All I'm looking to do is cover these areas. Those are the areas for the electrical contact. So I'll go ahead and wrap that around. Close that up. And just like that, this battery is ready for uh, recycling. We have two different walkie-talkie types batteries. If you notice the contacts here are down here on the one end. And then on the other end, they're up here. And that's the same for both these types. Although these are different batteries, they look similar. So first, we'll do the nickel, the metal nickel hydride battery. And what I'll usually do is just uh, take enough off that we can just cover that contact. And just like that, your walkie-talkie battery is also ready for disposal. Uh, next, we have uh, some other kind of weird looking batteries. We have a laptop battery, as well as another battery that's used for a different type of power tool. Uh, once again, for this one, you can see the contacts are right here and right here. And then there's a third one right here. So this one I'll just wrap around the top. It's kind of an easy one because then you can get all the contacts together in one, one good wrap. So now you can see there's no metal exposed at all. And that battery has been also ready for disposal. Here is that laptop battery. We have these, so you can see the teeth that are kind of there. That's the main area. That, that is the only area that we need to cover on this. So once again, I'll pull out my trusty tape and go around it in a circle. And then now this battery is ready for disposal as well. Finally, we have a couple different uh, lead acid batteries here. And here we have ones that just have the two contacts 
the negative and the positive. So we'll just put those tape over those two. These ones where there's a uh, cord, sometimes people will clip cords off and keep these contacts and sometimes you can just pull them right off. And then once again, you can cover these as well to have those now ready for disposal. Now, many of you may have some of these springs as well. Um, the spring ones are a little bit more difficult to get done uh, just because you got to get in between the springs. But as you see, just go through the first one and then the second one as well. And then both of these are now ready as well. Now for the fun ones. So we have a couple different types. Uh, these are lithium ion batteries. Uh, these will be taped just like you would tape, uh, you know, any of these other ones. You just want to have the contacts uh, covered. So something like that is fine because then there's no metal on either side. And then here are a bunch of the the uh, the lithium ion batteries that are a little bit more. These come in watches or, or hearing aids or other smaller electronics. For these ones, the best way that I've learned to do it is if you take a little bit wider tape, then what you can do is you can place your batteries out on the tape. them over so that you're able to get both sides both sides of the battery so that both sides are completely covered like so and then they can go out just like this so if you want to save yourself some time, save yourself some money, and protect our workers, tape up your batteries before you bring them. So bring them down to Marathon County Solid Waste Department for proper battery disposal.